My project name is uh, Genoop Game. Uh, it's a non-profit organization uh, that I came up with uh, with it in 2016. And the reason is uh, we are focusing on developing game for peace building because uh, my country has been going through wars since 2013. And when we got the independent, people were displaced. And even in 2016, we were also displaced. So there is no peace in the country. People have signed every contract to make sure that uh, peace is back. They also made sure that um, the, the ceasefire has been made, so it, but it's taking time. So, but every day people are pulling out of the country because there is no peace in the country. So I realized that uh, through the knowledge that I have, because I'm a software developer and uh, I do games, so I, I came up with Genoop Game so that we can be able to build games so that people play them and the content of the game should be uh, much of peace building. So this is uh, one of the solutions that we are having and it is unique because it's something new in the country. Uh, the country is, uh, the population is like 70% are youth. And over and over and time again, these are the same people that are used for wars because they have nothing to do. So we are using game so that they can download them, then they play over time so that it can change their mindset. So this is uh, the focus of our organization. We managed to develop uh, three games. Uh, we, we did uh, Salam game, it's a mobile game, and it's also available on, as a video game. Uh, we also have board games. Uh, the reason is because the country is still new and people are not into digital gaming. So we do board games so that uh, the old people and the young people can also play the game. So this is the focus of, uh, of our organization, building peace through, through gaming. There are a lot of challenges. Uh, definitely uh, being a new country, one, uh, we don't have the skill, like uh, there's no many game developers in the country. So I am the only one that does the, the coding, does the graphic and everything. So it's one of the challenges that we are having. The second part of it is, uh, is funding because uh, the economy in the country is still, is still low and the government is just focusing on building peace in other ways. So there is no way they can fund project like this. The accelerator program uh, will help me uh, connect to the new developers and also get some funding if, if necessary and uh, get to learn more about uh, Amazon Web Services because one of the challenges we have been doing was uh, hosting. So we, we, we have not yet uh, host some of the game in, 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 in Google App because South Sudan is not included. So that would be good if we can migrate some of our, our project to uh, Amazon uh, hosting. So everything that we have been doing, we are doing it by, oh, by our own. I got the knowledge and the research. The researchers also do the same thing. So we are a combination of young people that have the skill and we combine ourselves to do whatever, to use whatever skill we are having to produce something so that in the nearest future when we have peace, we can achieve whatever we want.